Hamas militants have reportedly launched an attack on Israel's primary crossing, point for the delivery of humanitarian aid into the Gaza Strip, resulting in injuries to several Israelis and leading to the closure of the terminal. This assault has interrupted the crucial supply of food and other humanitarian aid into Gaza, posing a fresh challenge to the ongoing ceasefire efforts being mediated by Egypt and Qatar. In a potential additional setback, Israel has announced the closure of the Qatari-owned Al Jazeera satellite channel while Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has rejected the latest demands from Hamas and pledged to continue the fight. The Israeli military has reported 10 launches at the Karam Shalom crossing, with Hamas claiming that it was targeting Israeli soldiers in the area. According to Israel's Channel 12 TV, 10 people were injured in the attack, three of them. Seriously, the Karam Shalom crossing, which has become the main entry point for much-needed humanitarian aid into Gaza, was immediately shut down following the attack stopping the delivery of aid into the heavily affected Gaza. It remains uncertain how long this closure will last. This incident occurs at a time when Gaza is grappling with a humanitarian crisis, marked by shortages of food, medicine, and other humanitarian supplies. The attack could potentially complicate the ongoing ceasefire. Discussions taking place in Egypt. A Hamas delegation was in Cairo on Saturday, with Egyptian state media reporting noticeable progress in the ceasefire negotiations. However, Israel has not sent a delegation to Cairo, and a senior Israeli official has downplayed the chances of a complete end to the war, while emphasizing Israel's commitment to invading Rafah, Egyptian, and Hamas. Officials have stated that the deal involves an extended pause in fighting in return for the release of Israeli hostages held by Hamas. However, there is disagreement between the sides over whether the deal would include an end to the war and a full withdrawal of Israeli troops from Gaza. On Sunday, Netanyahu further dampened expectations by accusing Hamas of making unacceptable demands while asserting that Israel has demonstrated a willingness to make concessions, he stated, Hamas has still held to its extreme positions, first and foremost, the withdrawal of our forces from the strip, the conclusion of the war and leaving Hamas intact. He added, Israel will not agree to Hamas's demands, which would mean surrender. It will continue fighting until all of its objectives are achieved. Egypt and Qatar have been collaborating with the United States to mediate a ceasefire. On Sunday, Netanyahu's cabinet approved a measure to close Qatar. Al Jazeera news channel accusing it of broadcasting anti-Israel incitement. This decision could further disrupt the ceasefire talks. Qatar has not yet commented on the matter. An Israeli air and ground offensive has reportedly killed over 34,500 people. According to Palestinian health officials, displaced around 80% of Gaza's population and led to a humanitarian disaster.